Welcome to um, Audrey UTS's exciting Hebrew Yiddish lesson. I've tried my best to make it as interactive, but it'll be fun anyway, so we'll try our best. <laughs> um, so I thought we'd start with some introductions, and we'll start those introductions in Hebrew. So, um, so we'll start off by saying, hello, my name is, and then your name. So hello is hi, same as English. <laughs> and then my name is Hashem Shelley. And then you'll say your name. <coughs> hi, Nathan. <laughs> hello. This is my friend Nathan from uni as well. <laughs> um, so I'll start. So I'll say um, hi, or you can say shalom. Hashem Shelley Lear. Who wants to go next? <laughs> Right. Could you repeat that uh, introductory part? Yes. <laughs> so we're saying hello, my name is, and then your name. So hello, you can say either hi or shalom. And then my name is Hashem Shelley, and then your name. Shalom, Hashem Shelley, Nathan. That was great. <laughs> Gabby, do you want to go next? Yeah. Um, Shalom, Hashem Shali Gabi. <laughs> How about Andrew? Give it a shot. What a whack. Um, Shalom, Hashem Shali Andrew. Mm hmm. Aaron, you're the last one standing. Hashem. <laughs> Shalom, Hashem Shali Aaron. Great. Um, I actually didn't write any other introductions, but if anyone has any or wants to like learn any now we can do that how, how would i ask hi how are you so you would say shalom and then you would ask for the how are you it's ma shalom cha. that's for so there's there's the um in hebrew there's male and female like pronouns so you would say for for if it was if it was a male identifying person you'd say ma shalom cha. And if it's um, female, you would say mashlomech. And then if it's a group of people, or if you're, or if they, let's say, non-binary, you could say mashlomchem. Do you want to try, Nathan? Do you want to try share screen so that they can read it? Yes, I will get up the document. Maybe like transliterate it or something. Yeah, because I had the document on a, um, yeah. Do they have a gender neutral? one now do you know um i don't think so i think they had a um i don't think there's like a proper gender neutral one but i just think of it as like the plural because then you're not actually saying whether it's male or female yeah because they have like the same problem in spanish and the only way that they can be gender neutral usually is through the text like you can't verbally say it okay so I'll zoom in for you guys. So I'll um, add it in here. So I'll add it in that hello, my name is. So it's how are you? And then it goes ma shlomcha. Ma shlomech. Ma shlomchem. Um, someone want to try? Lee, before we try, could you walk me through how to make the CH noise? Yes. So, um, yeah, that's the one weird thing with uh, Hebrew and Middle Eastern languages. So the CH is more of a... I'm trying to explain... Uh, what's a word that has that? Um, uh. <laughs> No, I'm trying to think of like, a, like an English word that would have that, but there isn't. <laughs> so um, actually, yeah, you could say challah. So challah is like, like a, a certain special bread that you use on Shabbat, so like the Sabbath dinner. And it's, I wrote it in the, um, in the post, but it's basically said like, it's, it's like S-H, but it's, it's like S-C-H. So it's like ch. 
said it said more like a her. If you're saying hala, like holla, but hala, and then you add a bit of like a like a throat. <laughs> I can't explain it. <laughs> it's like ha. <laughs> if you want to try it, I don't know. <laughs> Let's hear Andrew try. All right. So mashlom ha. Is that it? Yeah. 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 So mashlom ha. Mashlom ech, mashlom chem. So mashlom ech, chem. Yeah. Nice. And also, if that's ever too hard, you can always do her. So like mashlom ha, mashlom ech. Oh, that one's hard. <laughs> mashlom hem. <laughs> Having a ch at the end is harder to say her. Mashlom ech. <laughs> um, and then. The next part I was going to ask is, do you guys know any Hebrew words? Yes. Yes? Nathan, what do you know? <laughs> Shawit Magniv. <laughs> you want to tell them what that one means? So it means cool beans. I believe in a literal sense of temperature cool and then lentils. Yeah. So Magniv is slang for cool, and then Shuit is beans. And he's remembered that since first year, so that's pretty impressive. <laughs> um, any Yish words that anyone knows? I know Andrew knows a few. I'll be honest, the only ones I know are from the nanny. That's it. You can still say them. <laughs> I actually have a bunch here. So um, we can move on. So if not, move on to the next section. <laughs> um, so Wait, sorry, could you run through um, uh, Hello, My Name Is again? Yes. So um, I'll write it below here. Shalom. There we go. Do you want to try that? So you could say Shalom or Hi, Hashem, Shelly, and then your name. Shalom, Hashem, Shalim. And then you'd say your name, which is... Oh, Nathan. Nathan. <laughs> cool. I'll also, I think I'll send this to Andrew after, so I'll be able to upload it as well. Um, so then, um, so slang and words. So I've got like, not so much, but also if you guys want to know some, tell me within the limits of what I can tell you. <laughs> um, so the first one is chutzpah. So it's got the CH again. So you, like you can also say it more pronounced if you're more annoyed at someone, like the chutzpah. Um, it's, you kind of use it in the context of if, if someone's being like rude or like disrespectful, like, like, like the disrespect of this person, the chutzpah of this person. And if you want to use it as a verb, you just replace the, the H here with an N. So like a chutzpan. It's, it's very interesting, the Hebrew language. <laughs> um, does someone want to try that? Saying it with the CH. <laughs> chutzpah. <laughs> chutzpah. <laughs> chutzpah. <laughs> chutzpah. <laughs> Chutzpah. Is it like chutzpah? Like chutzpah? Yeah. Like chutzpah. Like chutzpah. Like yeah. Okay. It's like, you know when you have like an itchy feeling at the back of your throat? So you really got to like roll that out. Like chut like, yeah. <laughs> is, Wait, is it like chu or like ha? Depending on the letter afterwards. Yeah, it depends on whether uh, it's like a U or an A, but the same rolling is at the start. All right. So. <laughs> chutzpah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, that was totally on point. Sometimes, and sometimes the CH isn't as pronounced. Sometimes it's just like put there. <laughs> so we'll get to that. But um, so yeah, the next one which we've done is Shalom. So that means three things. It means hello, it means goodbye, and it also means peace. So it's kind of a triple threat right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then the next one is Schlepp. So Schlepp doesn't have the CH as pronounced. And also I'll explain, so um, chutzpah is Yiddish, shalom is Hebrew, and then schlep is also Yiddish. So with schlep, it's, it kind of means like an effort, 
or like like it's a trek to have to like do something like if let's say your friends like let's go for like a run and you're like that's such a schlep like that's such an effort or like i can't be bothered doing that if that makes sense <laughs> so are things schlep or do you like give schlep things things are a schlep it's like i'm trying to think of how to explain it um let's see let's say like that like i tell let's say i tell nathan like i need you to like i don't know like you're doing labor work get like three bags of cement and just like bring him like 100 meters down the road he'll say that's such a schlep or you can say that's a schlep but like you want to emphasize that it's an I like effort that. Have to do it <laughs> like what an effort yeah like what a schlep um so that's kind of it. If you have any questions, also feel more than free to ask, and I'll try and explain it as best I can. Um, can yeah. someone be schlep? Someone can be a schlep. But can they? Can't they? Be schlep. Yeah, you can, like, is in like... Mm, <laughs> also, it always depends. Larry, you're such a schlep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, you're an effort. Like... <laughs> um, someone takes, let's say someone takes an hour to get ready. They're such a schlep. They always take ages. You can kind of chuck it into any situation, honestly. <laughs> um, then the next ones are yes and no. So that's can is yes and lo is no. So that should be very helpful if you're in Israel and someone just tries to tell you something and you're like, la 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 la. Kind of rolls off the tongue there. Um, next one's another Yiddish word, which is mensch. So that one's kind of got like, it's more of an SH, but the C is just there silently. So it's mensch. Um, so that's kind of like someone who's like a generous person or an honorable person. So like that, that could be using the same, like, like same structure as schlep. So like he's such a mensch or like you're a mensch, if that makes sense. Um, next one is a very, very polite one. You should always use it. <laughs> if you, uh, unless you're in Israel. In Israel, they don't really use Bavakasha because they just do whatever they want. But, um, <laughs> yeah, Bavakasha means please. So it's, it's a long word kind of, but you can just split it up into Bevakasha. Or you could just say it. <laughs> um, next one. Is an exciting one. This one you can use whenever you're like, like surprised, or like shocked. I think, but more surprised. It's like oy vey. So it's like, um, what's an example? Uh, did you hear about um, that person that got an award, or like they fell when they were walking down the stairs? Oy, oy vey. <laughs> um, Let's see. There's sababa, which is what Gabby asked me earlier to say, which is cool. So yeah, sababa actually it can be a bunch of things. Sababa can be, it can be like cool, great, okay. Like if it's like um, okay, let's go meet for lunch at three p.m. Sababa. It's it's a very. <laughs> you can use it in a, like a lot more context than schlep and chutzpah. <laughs> It kind of like means a bit of everything, I guess. Yeah. Like our friend, we'd literally be away overseas and she would just say, oh, they, because it was just ingrained in how to just say it all the time. <laughs> um, oh, I mean, so blah, blah. Then the next one is toda. So toda means thanks. And then if you say, well, it means thanks or thank you. And then if you add raba, it's still thank you, but it's more like, like many thanks. Or like a big thanks. But like normally the, if you like say, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, kind of. But you can also just say Toda and Toda works just as well. And it's easier to remember. <laughs> um, the next one is Spiel. So Spiel is kind of used in the context of like, maybe when you're giving like a speech or a story, you're like, do you want the full? Do you want the full spiel, or do you want me to just give you like a, like a short version? 
And the one time that I heard it was uh, <laughs> interestingly at work when uh, my friend was showing like some customers or they used to work in a cinema the seats. And he's like, do you guys, do you guys need the full spiel or are you all good with the seats and everything? So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, next one is the set air, which is uh, like, okay, all right. Or if you kind of just want to get someone off your back, just say the set air, the set air. Just say that. Um, next one is, oh yeah, so spiel was a, uh, another Yiddish word and schmutz is also a Yiddish word. Schmutz is kind of like it. I don't know. I always feel like I, I don't normally say it, but it's always like a cute word to say. Like you have some schmutz on your face. Like you have a little bit like of like food or like a mess on your face. So that one's kind of like a, I like those words that roll a bit. So it's like schmutz. Um, next one is slicha. So this one's always great if you uh, want to apologize, <laughs> which I'd hope. <laughs> um, so that's sorry. So if someone obviously, you upset them or something, you'll be like slicha. Or you could even say, you could make it even better and say ani mitz ta'er. Someone wants to practice that one. So ani mitz ta'er is, um, so it's like, sorry, but it's like, I, I apologize. Um, then the next one is shekel. So shekel is like the Israeli equivalent of like a dollar. And then um, what else? Tov is good. And then um, I added this one in. I thought we could, <laughs> we could use it if we want. So it's um, arsim, and it's kind of like, it's the equivalent of calling someone a bogan. <laughs> if, if that makes any sense, it's more like, um, yeah, can't, I can never really actually explain it, but that's the best explanation I can put to it. <laughs> um, are there any other words that people wanted to know or slang that like I can translate or help with? Cool. <laughs> Let's um, go to phrases. So phrases, I definitely did not write so many, but please, if you have any that you want to know, tell me and I can add it onto this list as well. So we can um, work it out. So the most important thing is obviously you're like in the markets in Israel and you know, you see something you really like, you know, it's not the real thing, but you just want to know how much it costs. So you ask them how much is this, and that in Hebrew is kama ze ole. So kama is is how, ze is like this, and then ole is cost. So it's like how much does this cost, basically. But it's the same as how much is this. Um, next one is, yeah, mashlom cha, which is what Nathan wanted to know, and I have that here, so it's how are you. Then... Um, Manishma is what's up. Actually, it can be a lot of very, diff like a few things. It can be, um, Manishma can be what's up. It can also be how are you or how are you going? So that's a few things. Hi, Adina. Um, then the next one is Batavon. So obviously we don't really have an English equivalent. So I'll, I'll relate it to French. So it's the equivalent of bon appetit. So it's bête avon. And always when there's um, a lot of Hebrew words have a um, apostrophe, which is, it's kind of like a break in the word, but also not. It's kind of like you're switching. So it's like te avon. Instead of like putting it, let's say, um, Instead of putting, let's say, between mashlom cha, it's like mashlom cha, because it's one word, and then this one's kind of split. But that's only in, like, the transliterated that it would have apostrophes. Um, the next one is l'chayin, which is always a great one when, you know, your uh, quarantine will be over and we'll be able to do a l'chayin at the bar or the, the pub. So that's our cheers or to life. Normally, it's obviously shouted at weddings, when um, 
people get married because it's a chayim, like it's a big to life moment. Um, the last two are a good daily phrase. If you want to, I don't know, walk into a coffee shop and just be extra polite, you say boker tov, which is good morning, or laila tov, which is good night. And then tov itself means good, which I should have written. So tov means good. And then Hebrew is also very flipped compared to other languages. So like um, an example, a fun one's toilet paper. So it's actually flipped in Hebrew to paper toilet. <laughs> so it's um, niar, which is paper, and toilet, which sounds a bit French, but it isn't. <laughs> Um, are there any other phrases people want to know or like you, you're curious about in Hebrew? What is I miss you in Hebrew? I miss you. Um, so I have it here. So it's Ani mit ga a. I'm trying to think whether to add the apostrophe. Mit ga a ge. Mit ga a geya. How do I write that? Mit ga geya? Yeah. Um, so I need me is I miss, and then I'll add um, ot ha male otach is female, and then otchem or etchem is um, gender neutral. And most of the time, all the gender neutral is also the plural. So if you're saying you miss a bunch of people, you can say, So, so yeah, it's the same here. If you're saying, you're kind of saying that to like a group of people, but it's also a gender neutral term because it's a plural. Do you want to try, Nathan, since you asked for it? Could you run it through? Like, so Ani yes. so, meets a gay, gay, uh, yeah, and then, or Ocha. Oh, wait, that's actually, so, wait, let, me, let me fix this. Let me go, Gao. Eleha. Eleha. Okay. Eleha. Elech. Elech. And then Elechem. Elechem. Oh, El, it's, it's more of, um, let me go, Gao, Elechem. Okay. Yeah, it's Elechem. And, okay, cool. So the sentence would basically go, Could you go one more time? So this one goes, so this one, this one goes, Mitga Agea. Mitga Agea. Yeah. Okay. Ani Mitga Agea Elecha Elech. Elohim. Yeah. Okay. This one, so with a lot of the, a lot of the plural ones or the gender neutral ones, it's kind of hard to explain, but like sometimes they're very, not squished, but like it's a bit quicker. So it's like, Animit Gagia, Elohim. Like not Elohim, but Elohim. It's kind of, it's. Elohim. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Elohim. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other phrases people want to know? Anything from Aaron, Andrew, Dina, Gabby? I'm hungry. You're hungry? That's a good one. <laughs> I'll add that before the table. I thought you were going to say that and like walk away from the call. <laughs> I only ate, but this is like when traveling, probably the most important phrase you can have. That's so yeah. true. Like, so, like, um, Ani, Ani Raev is I'm hungry. Actually, wait, I'll fix that. I'll make it even better. Um, and you were Ev. And then... Actually, I'll do the opposite. I'll just write it for the... the everything has to be in, um, in male, female, non... I'm hungry. Ani, Ra'ev. Male, Ani, Reeva, Female, Ani, 
the plural, אנחנו רעבים. If you're with a friend and you want to speak for them. So Andrew, you, would, you can pick which one you'd want to say. So it would be, אני רעב, אני רעבה, אנחנו רעבים. All right, so, אני רעב, אני... Yeah. So, אני רעב, אני רעבה, אנחנו רעבים? Yeah. And then when you get your food, they'll probably just tell you Batavon, <laughs> and then you'll dig in. <laughs> um, Aaron, Gabby, Adina, any Hebrew things you wanted to know? Yeah, the scariest thing for me is if I do speak something like Hebrew, and then they say, oh, you speak Hebrew? How do you say, no, I don't actually speak Hebrew? Okay, cool. That's a great one. I'll put that right at the top. <laughs> um, actually, wait, I'll do, I'll do the same as one before. I don't... I'll just pair it back. Oh, good. Aaron, so this one has the male, female, plural. So, Ani Lomada Bear Ivrit, Ani Lomada Barrett Ivrit. Anachnu lo medabrim ivrit. And I'll break that down. So it's um, ani is I, lo is no or don't. Medaber, medaberet, medabrim is speak. And then ivrit is Hebrew. Okay. Ani lo medab, ani lo medaber ivrit. Ani lo medaberet ivrit. Anachnu lo medaber, medabrim ivrit. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Gabby, I know you also speak Hebrew, but is there a phrase you want to teach them that I can add? If you can think of one. If, if, if she's here. What was, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> I said, um, I know you're also a Hebrew speaker, but is there a phrase that you wanted to maybe teach them? Uh, I'm trying to think. All the ones I think are like bad words that you can't say. <laughs> <laughs> like expressions. I don't know, Andrew, is that allowed? Andrew's gone. <laughs> Not incriminating. You can get arrested for it, then no. But no. If if you say it to your family, then yes. I'll tell you strange phrases, but you may not be able to use it in an everyday setting, but it might be funny. So there's one which my mum used to say to me when I woke up in the morning and I like hadn't washed my face. Um, and she used to be like, I'll say English and then I'll insert the Hebrew word. She's like, you have such a, and I'd say, partsuf shel tachat, which literally translates as a face of an, like a bum. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That. And then I wrote it once at my Hebrew homework and my teacher told me it was very inappropriate. So. <laughs> yes, I've written that here. Um, yeah, so it's parts of, which is like, whenever it's a T and a Z, it's like T instead of Z. So it's parts of. And then shell and then tahat. Gabby, you have any other ones? Uh, so that's one. Um, I can't particularly think of anything right now, but maybe that's we fine. could get people to have conversations. I don't know. You could try hold a conversation in Hebrew. Yeah. Does that's someone want to try and have a conversation? <laughs> I don't know how how possible that will be, but <laughs> how, how do you say where's the toilets? That's something else you need. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, I'll add that to, I'll add that to after the food. Um, I'm trying to think how to add that, how you could read it. A four. Yeah. A four. I'll add Y. A four. Ha. Shirutin. Actually, one of the most common questions. <laughs> I literally ask 
when I get to a restaurant. <laughs> Where's the bathroom? <laughs> So, because I'm lactose intolerant, but what is it? A, <laughs> A for Hasher Tim. Yeah. Perfect. A for Hasher Tim. Um, Dina, do you have any Hebrew words or any phrases you want to contribute or ask? Um, no, not really. I'm just enjoying listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. <laughs> Bring me back to my um, days at school. <laughs> Okay. Um, Maybe we could do like foods or like. Yeah, we can do foods. Have we done foods? Does anyone foods. know like a certain food or like a drink or whatever? Yeah. Oh, oh, I have a funny phrase. I just thought of one. My mom was talking about it the other day. So, yeah. you know how like, this is for everyone who doesn't speak Hebrew. <laughs> You've got like a slice of pizza in English. Yeah. Say yes if you understand. <laughs> Um, so you've got a slice of pizza. So a common phrase that's used to be like, oh, that girl is really good looking or that guy is really good looking or really hot. Oh. You say like, ah, eizichatich, right? So if I was like, oh my God, Lear is so hot, I'd be like, ah, oh, Lear, ata eizichatich, you're such a hottie. Yeah, it's like, the only way to translate that is like, you're a, you're a slice, so you're a, you're, yeah, a, you're a hot you're slice. A like, <laughs> Yeah. I don't know how to explain that any other way. I, I guess like it kind of, I mean, we're like assuming here it's not like any of us are Hebrew teachers, but it's almost like you want a sl- like a, a piece of that. Maybe it's like when you want a piece, but it's not as, I guess, awful as it sounds in English, if that makes sense. Yeah, you're, you're such a hottie. You know, you're at that coffee shop and the guy next to you is really good looking and you talk to your mom in Hebrew and you say, ah, where's the chatik? <laughs> well, when you're in the club and you don't want them to know what you're saying now you know how to say it exactly does anyone want to try <laughs> no one <laughs> I'll give it a go yes so wait could you, could you run me through the female pronunciation of it once more yeah so, so tell me are you talking to a female when you're saying this Yes. Okay, and are you telling the female or are you telling your friend that she's hot? Telling the female. Okay, so you'd be like, at? At? Eze? Eze? Chatiha. Chatiha. Say it again, go. Cha? Cha? He? He? T, with a T. Oh, cha, T, cha. Cha, yeah. So basically, you can say at chaticha, or you can say at eze chaticha, which is like, you're such a hottie. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> okay. We'll definitely be remembering that one. <laughs> okay. I think this will be uploaded, so you'll be able to get to it. If it's, oh, um, great. I see. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I'm just adding the, uh, like, the, yeah, speaking about them as well, because it's a... Hebrew is very complex. <laughs> uh, speaking about them. Cool. Um, any other ones that anyone has? If not, we can move to foods for a bit. You can ask for any food, food in Hebrew. And like coffee and like, what's everyone's favorite food? Shout things out. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> anyone have any favorite foods? Coffee. I, I really like bananas. That's just me. But that's just the same. So. Wait, what other words are the same pronunciation um, as English? Let's see. Well, I can't. There's probably a lot. Well, not a lot. There's like a few, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. So if you tell me a fruit, I can probably tell, or a food, I can tell you. We can do better. chocolate, like um, yeah. chocolate. It's basically yeah. the same. Actually, I'll replace all the words. I'll make it the Hebrew at the start. Well, because those would be the easiest words to say. <laughs> it's funny, though, because... Um, what is it? So many words are very similar to English. Yeah. Especially when you get to, like, popular foods, because it does obviously tend to be the same. Like, pasta is the same. Chips is the same. Pizza is the same. 
But when it comes to like specific foods, then it's it's different. Yeah. And also for like those who don't know, Hebrew like wasn't spoken for a really long time. And then do you know when it was brought back to life again? I think it was the like eighties. 1880s or something? Yeah, yeah, like 1880s, I think. So Israel is the only language to be dead, like to be like not spoken and then resurrected Hebrew, from the yeah. dead. Yeah. Fun fact. It's pretty insane though, considering. And like I watched this interesting video and they were saying how the way to really know that a uh, language is resurrected is that when like the kids start speaking it. Mm. Does anyone have any more foods or should I move on to the last part? And we can always go back to foods if we want. Coming under food, one of my favorite phrases while traveling is, can I have another one? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do that one. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, here. Can I, Efshar, Od, Echad. And then I'll even add in brackets. Bevakasha. So, yeah, so that one, so Fshar is um, can I, and then odd, well, it's kind of one word in a way. Odechad is kind of like another one or another. Oh. And then you can add Bevakasha if you want to say please. So you can try that if you want and see if it works. <laughs> um, Efsha od echad bavakasha. Yeah. <laughs> and knowing Israelis, sometimes they'll say yes and sometimes they'll say no. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it, it varies. <laughs> like if you're at a homeless place and you ask for maybe a bit more pita, if they're a nice homeless place, they'll be like, yeah, sure. And maybe if not, they'll be like, no, you got to pay. <laughs> and sometimes you have to nudge them a bit more and then maybe they'll say yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so I reckon we'll move to the song. So I had a bit of a description as well. So the song's called Lava Shelly Shalosh Peanut, which means <laughs> my, my hat has three corners. So um, recently, I think it was about, actually near a month and a half ago, almost two months, we, so the Jews celebrate a holiday called Purim, which is whenever I explain it to people that aren't Jewish, like especially my friends, I tell them it's Jewish Halloween because <laughs> you dress up. And the whole theme is that um, it celebrates the saving of the Jews from Haman, who was an evil minister for the king in ancient Persia. And the tradition says that Haman wore a three-cornered triangular hat. And we eat a cookie called a Hamantashen, which is a representation of his hat to celebrate his defeat. But a fun tidbit is that the, so it's actually called in Hebrew, Oznei Haman, which is ears of Haman. And his ears weren't triangular. So I actually can't remember where that tradition came to call it Haman's ears when it isn't. But yes. <laughs> um, so the song, it has a bit of a tune to it. So I'll, I'll sing it through once. I've got the English here and like the sentences and then the transliteration. So it goes, um, La Kova Shelly, Shalosh, Peanut, Shalosh, Peanut, La Kova Shelly, Lule, Hayula, Shalosh, Peanut, Lo Hayaze, Ha Kova Shelly. So this one's, so yeah, my hat has three corners, three corners on my hat. <laughs> Um, and if it didn't have three corners, it wouldn't be my hat. That's obviously because I think it's older Hebrew, especially with Lule and Lo Hayaze. It's a bit of different than modern Hebrew, but it still means it wouldn't be my hat. And if it didn't have three corners, it's just a bit of a different Hebrew. Um, do you guys want to try? I can do it line by line and we can gradually get it. It's the same tune and it just repeats itself. <laughs> Um, oh. I'll do the first, yep. Oh. <laughs> I'll, do the, I'll do the first line and then you guys can try and repeat. You guys also don't have to go unmute if you think it'll be 
messy. So you can always say it in your room with, on mute. <laughs> I'm going to believe you that you know it. So the first line goes, La Kova Shelly, Shalosh Peanut. La. I'm not saying it on my own. <laughs> well, you can just. <laughs> okay, La Kova Shelly. Shalosh Peanut. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and then next, the next line is um, Shalosh Pinot La Kova Shelly. So this is actually one sentence, but I just broke it down to make it easier. You ready? Yeah. Shalosh Pinot La Kova Shelly. Okay, so I'll try it with both of these lines together, and then we can uh, try it with both lines. <laughs> La Kova Shelly, Shalosh Peanut, Shalosh Peanut, La Kova Shelly. La Kova Shelly, Shalosh Peanut, Shalosh Peanut, La Kova Shelly. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> then the next part, so the next two lines, I'll do a line. I'll do it. I'll do the, both of them together and then I'll do it line by line. So this one is um Yule Ha Yulo Shalosh Peanut Lo Hayase Hakova Shelly. So this one, the first one is um Lule Hayulo Shalosh Peanut. Because Lule Hayulo Shalosh Peanut. Lule Hayulo Shalosh Peanut. I could do with some, it doesn't matter, you know. And then the next one is, uh, Lo hayaze hakova sheli. Lo hayaze hakova sheli. And then together, um, I trust you guys to, to know these two lines, unless you want me to just do it once more and then you guys can repeat. Maybe run through it once and then we'll all do it together, everyone. The whole song? The whole song? I don't know, what can everyone do? Very little. I don't know how. I'll do, I'll do the last two lines. We'll do the last two lines, and then we can try and do the song, and then we'll do it once again. Okay. 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 Right. So I'll sing through the song once more, and then we'll try and do the song once more. Um, okay. La Kova Shelly, Shalosh Peanut, Shalosh Peanut, La Kova Shelly. Lule hayulo shalosh peanut lo hayaze hakova sheli. Okay, are we ready to do one run through of the song? Nope. Uh, here we go. We'll do it. I hope everyone can join in, even if you feel like you don't know it. We're all gonna help each other here. Come on, everyone. Turn off your mics. Turn on your mics. <laughs> Let's Hello. get singing. Ooh. La Kova Shelly, Shalosh Pinot, Shalosh Pinot, La Kova Shelly, Lule, Hayulo, Shalosh Pinot, Lo, Hayulo, La Kova Shelly. Yay! And that's on that one effort. <laughs> Um, I'm going to need so some peanut noir after this. That's actually the end <laughs> of the good one. That's the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. And if there's anything else you want to know, feel free to message me, and I can always try to translate it for you. <laughs> but yes, that is everything. Thanks so much, Leo. No worries. Yeah. Bye, Bye, everyone. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 B